The moment the NFT community has been waiting for, the long-anticipated Amazon partnership. This basically means that we will be able to utilize our NFTs to display IRL tangible items and I am so excited for it. Let's get straight into it. Amazon is set to launch its own NFT marketplace next month with the option of having digital collectibles linked to physical goods delivered to customer doorsteps, according to two reports. The details state that the marketplace will have 15 NFT collections available on launch for US-based customers before expanding worldwide. After the initiative is launched, Amazon shoppers will be able to purchase fashion-oriented NFTs that are linked to physical clothing, such as jeans, trainers, sweatshirts, according to a report. Basically, what this means, you buy something on Amazon and you will, in fact, have a NFT to represent that you own it. This is one of the very many use cases and utilities of NFTs, and I absolutely love it. As some of you know, I used to sell goods on eBay, used designer goods, and that's how I paid for community college. And this is an absolute beautiful compliment to that initiative. Next, Vitalik NFT collection takes top spot on OpenSea. The collection is doing really well, but we don't really know if it's associated with Vitalik or not. The Gitcoin Presents Non-Fungible Token collection is soaring in value after its open edition mint concluded Wednesday, taking the top spot across leading marketplaces. The collection rapidly rising in interest and value because of the association of Ethereum co-founder Vitalik with the project, though his direct involvement with the NFT drop has not been established. So basically people are assuming that it has to do with Vitalik or he's involved, but it's not. And then of course... People are also saying to be weary of it because there's some interesting things happening with some of those involved with the project. Always do your due diligence, track wallets, and be safe. Next, shout out to all of the Polygon Matic fanatics. Binance NFT adds Polygon Network support to its marketplace. Only selected ERC-721 collections in the Polygon Network are currently available on the Binance NFT marketplace. Again, Binance is a international company. You cannot use it in the U.S. And this just adds further adoption for Polygon Network to other countries. And again, I hold Matic. Love it, support it, 100% here for this. Next, for all you Cardano fans. Cardano founder says NFTs are the most vibrant part of the ADA ecosystem. And even though Charles and I do not agree on many things, I agree with him here. I love to see Cardano utilize NFTs, smart contracts, etc. And I think it does bring a lot of value to their ecosystem. And last but not least, another paddock Polygon Matic story here. Starbucks serves up its first premium NFTs at $100 a pop. It came out earlier in the year, or maybe last year, later in last year, um, that Starbucks was going to be creating a royalty or loyalty program with Polygon, which again, amazing for us, especially that we have moonbags. So after its free NFT garnered significant value, the Polygon-based Starbucks Odyssey platform is dropping its first paid collectible. So you're able to earn these collectibles by just using the app as a loyalty program, and now they're dropping the first paid collectible. I absolutely love that. I think that this is fantastic and goes to show that NFTs do, in fact, have a use case. And everybody who is doubting them, you're going to eat your words now because things are going to continue to get better. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, set alerts. And again, thank you for watching The O Show, everything crypto and NFTs every day. Bye-bye.